What's up, GQ? My name is Ron. I also go by Ron Dez. I'm a barber and a colorist at H2 Salon. Today's look is inspired by Russell Westbrook. We're going with a copper fade. Let's meet our client, Ronnie. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? Nice to meet Hi. you. Like what? I'm right. excited. All right, let's have some fun today. Let's talk about Russell's hair evolution. He's been playing with different looks, playing basketball. In uh, 2013, 2014, he's still kind of playing it safe. He had a little more texture to his hair. 2015, now we're getting spicy. Now he's got a more of a fade, darker top texture. 2016, faux hawk. It's a good switch up. He's coming out of his comfort zone a little bit. 2019, he braided it up with the fade on the sides. Clean look, nice edge up. 2021, he cut it down back to a Caesar. Wow, this is the look we're going for right here, the copper look. I like the fade it. on the sides. With the dye and everything. The dye and everything, mm -hmm. yeah. I won't say it's simple, but it's more of a casual look. It's not jumping out too far. You can still look professional in whatever you're doing. I like it. Yeah. Let's do it. Since I've never dyed my hair before, is there anything I should worry about? Honestly, the only thing I'll say is your maintenance of your hair. Don't shampoo as much. Wash out your hair with conditioner as much as you can. And probably shampoo once a week. So let's get started, all right? All right, all right. Step one, we're gonna mix the color. Step two, we're gonna apply the color. Step three, as we're applying it, we're gonna wrap his head, have him sit for 30 minutes, wash and condition his hair after. After that, we're gonna get straight into the actual haircut. The reason I wanna start with the color first, I kinda wanna start with a fresh canvas before I go into the cut. So first, we're gonna drape you. So let's get started with mixing the color. We're gonna use Cure All. We're gonna use 6RR. And then we're gonna use 30 volume as the base. I'm gonna put my gloves on first. Mm -hmm. Mixing the color right now. We also had a, like a nice golden copper color. With your texture, it's gonna translate well. Nice, I'm excited. Yeah. When I'm doing color, I like to start off with the sides and then come back into the crown. I definitely feel a little bit of tingling. Yeah, so that's pretty normal. After I cover the surface, I go into the scalp itself and start applying like a little bit. You want to get to the root of the hair. Now I'm starting to go into the actual top of the hair. I uh, really thought, you know, this was going to be a bit more horrifying, but so far <laughs> so good. I'm just making sure the application doesn't actually get on his skin. I use a shower cap because it's transparent. I can actually see the color change. If I need to let it sit longer, we're gonna put the timer for 30 minutes and then rinse the hair out, shampoo, and then uh, condition. All right, guys, we just finished rinsing the application out. We followed up with a conditioner to apply more moisture to his hair so his hair isn't as dry. After rinsing out the conditioner, now we're ready to dry his hair. So now I'm gonna blow dry his hair. I'm gonna add a leave-in conditioner to protect the scalp from the heat from the blow dryer itself. As I'm why, uh, why such a small amount? Uh, you don't need that much because you don't want to overload it on your scalp. Kind of want it to just to sit, not to really saturate the scalp. As you can see, the color came out really good. A gold look, kind of brown, copper look. We're gonna have fun now. Get to the cutting part. Russell's look is a short fade with a copper dye tone. I want to start off low. I never start off so high because I want to give myself room to work. We're going to take the top down to a, you want to go with a four or three? We can go with three. A three? I know that we're mimicking Russell's look, but I want to give the client his own identity with this cut. We might spice it up, jazz it up a little more. Here we go. And we're going to start with the fade. So I'm going to set my guideline with a liner. I'm basically gonna give him a drop fade. So you see that transition from the grain of the color to the skin. So these are my soft liners, the Andes Clippers, just to get around the nape area and behind the ears. So now that we started with the setup line, I'm gonna take his hair down to a three. But yeah, you think you switch from a three to a two? Yeah, no problem. So with that being said, I'm gonna be using my Andy's clippers to knock down the hair to a two. So 
So we're trimming down the hair to a two, then I'm gonna finish up with the fade after. So the next part of this haircut, I'm gonna actually lay his hair down with a one and a half just to smooth it out. This is chopping down like the loose ends, anything that's sticking up. The next step, we're gonna begin the fade. So I'm gonna go to my Andy's Masters. I'm gonna start another guideline where I can work my one into a half and back to a zero, back to a ball fade. And then I'm gonna come back up and finish off with a two, going down to a one and a half to a one A. So as you can see, the one side of the hair, the transition from light to dark. And voila, there we have it. The fade is done. So now we're gonna line you up and we're gonna clean up your beard. Make me look clean and neat. Let's I like it. it. I'm gonna apply a little bit of hair enhancement on his sides. So now I'm gonna begin to line his front line and give him that symmetrical look that he desires. I'm just bringing back his line a little bit so he has a more formed line. I'm using babyless trimmers. Russell Westbrook's look, he has more of a mustache and a little soul patch. Do you kind of want to keep that look or you want to keep your beard? Give me the Russell Westbrook look. So you want to go all the way? Go all the way with all right. it. So what we're gonna do here for his face, we're gonna line up his goatee and his mustache just like Russell Westbrook. The key with the mustache, honestly, for me, is not to make it too skinny. It kinda has to have some type of dimension. Final part of this haircut, I'm actually gonna raise your line and raise the mustache just to clean it up and then we're good to go. All right, Ron, you ready? I'm ready, I'm excited. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I like it, I like it, it's smooth. Lineup is pretty sharp, I love it. Russell Westbrook. Maybe next time we can try something different, like the blue with the stars on the side. Let's All do right. it. Thank you. Always. Yeah, I love it, man. I'm gonna show right. it. Can't wait to show it to my friends yeah, and family. Back. Thank you once again. Always, bro. All right. Yeah. So that was Russell's Copper Fade. Thank you so much, GQ, for having me. Until next time. <laughs>